How to give dawah in two minutes? Okay, we have two types of dawah, active and passive. Active dawah is when you're engaging in conversation, you ask people questions. Passive is when they ask you a question. Let's start with the passive. Okay. Excuse me, Abdullah, why do you have a beard? That's a very good question, John. Thank you for asking that question. Now, before I started to grow a beard, I had exactly the same question. And I realized, in order for you to understand the answer, you have to understand the concept of Islam. Do you have some time? Let's do another scenario. Susan comes up to Aisha. Hi, Aisha. Why do you wear the hijab? That's a very good question, Susan. And before I started to wear the hijab, I had exactly the same type of question. And I realized, in order for you to understand the answer, you have to understand the concept of Islam. Do you have some time? Let me just do this again. Hello, John. I'd like to know why you guys pray five times a day. You know, that's a very good question. In order for you to understand the answer, you have to understand the concept of Islam. You see where I'm going here, guys? I'm linking everything to the concept of Islam, regardless if you know the answer or not. And there's an important reason why. But let's start with the active, and then I'll get to the reason. Active Dawa. Say I'm holding a leaflet. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, sir. Today we're talking about what's your goal? Oh, that's very interesting. Thank you for stopping and wanting to engage with me. You found that interesting, well so do I. And I've realized that in order for you to understand what's your goal in life, you have to understand the concept of Islam. You see what I've done? Even by asking him a question, I'm linking it to the concept of Islam. Now why are we doing this? Because brothers and sisters, our answers come from Tawheed, our answers come from our concept. Meaning that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exists, he is one, he deserves to be worshipped, the Quran is a miracle, it's his revelation, and the Prophet ﷺ is indeed the final Prophet. If we establish this concept as a truth, then whatever comes from truth is true. So when you explain to them the concept, then you've given them the foundation. Because brothers and sisters, there's no point just debating and having arguments all the time and trying to rationalize everything. Because everyone has a world view. It's like having glasses on. If my glasses are tinted green, I'm going to be saying, look at that building, it looks green. But if someone's glasses are tinted red, they're going to say, no, it's red. Then we're arguing, green, red, green, red. The only way for us to understand each other, we have to swap glasses or take them off. And this approach does that. It gives them the foundation, the glasses in which we wear to see the world, which is the concept of Islam. You show them that that's true, then whatever comes from truth is true. So remember, link everything to the concept. That's a very good question. In order for you to understand the answer, you have to understand the concept of Islam. Let me give you some tips though. Someone may say, I just want a yes or no answer. Yes or no. Yes or no. I would humbly say, well that's very interesting, but yes or no is not the answer. For example, what's your name? Yes or no. How many days in the week? Yes or no. What's your views on abortion? Yes or no. Yes or no doesn't represent the true answer. So if you're sincere, then you'll know you'd have to give me some time for me to explain the concept. So that's how I would deal with that contention. Another contention is someone may come up to you and say, I heard that you guys want to drink baby's blood. Now you're not going to respond by saying, well that's a very good question. In order for you to understand the answer, you have to understand the concept of Islam. No, you don't do that because you're implying that we do drink baby's blood. In these type of questions, this is what I would do. Of course we don't drink baby's blood. Are you crazy? But in order for you to understand anything about Islam, you have to understand its concept. Do you have some time for me to explain this to you? I know in the begin beginning I said two minutes but that was in a way to get your attention and I really thought it would take me two minutes but regardless, I, I, I think it's worth it. So follow this approach and uh, it's a very easy way of giving Dao. Assalamu alaikum.